when you're at this point on your jellyfish where you've got just to your next length cut off and you're ready to go, you're going to crochet this tentacle here. Um, you're going to switch hooks. You're going to need to get your smaller hook and tighten it up a little bit. And you just want to crochet down. Ooh, okay. Crochet down to the end of this chain where your length runs out. That way it won't be any longer than any of the other tentacles or shorter really. If it's shorter it won't matter because they all pull in and out anyway. And you're going to want to leave just a little bit of room at the end. Um, I say five inches. I'm going to leave a little less or uh, a little more room at the end because I have a different um, type of ring that I'm using. Um, I'm not going to use a bracelet. I'm going to use a cookie cutter so they're a little bit thicker and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, since I'm doing a Halloween themed one, I'm, I'm using these little cookie cutters. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hook off and place that over replace your hook okay and then you're just going to make sure that it's secured by at least two more chains okay so you want one that's attaching it and then one to secure it and then you're going to pull that all the way through if you don't want a ring then you would just crochet to the end and then pull it all the way through at the ends here what I like to do is round them off and just like that so it gives them a nice finish on the end and then you have your little ring if you're confused about what I mean when I say that you'll need one length of flarn or two lengths of flarn it refers to um, the point um, at which these meet okay so if I just want one length it'll be from the very beginning to the first turn and that is a length of flarn um, in the jellyfish you need two lengths of flarn for every tentacle that you're going to chain and crochet so that's where you would cut it and then you would have two lengths um, in the middle that little boxy piece is still going to be there and you just want to take that and round it like you would in the middle of your crochet um, as always this doesn't have to be perfect you just it hides it if you just round that off a little bit okay Now when you're making the tentacles for the jellyfish, you're going to start with a slip, okay? So this is a slip knot. And you're going to take your first loop, your first ring, um, bracelet, whatever. I'm using these because I'm making Halloween themed ones, so I'm just using cookie cutters. Um, just make sure that your cookie cutters don't have any sharp edges on them. Go over them with a cotton ball and make sure that they're not going to cut anybody's feet if you're going to use cookie cutters like me okay so um, you'll take it and slip it on like this and just chain all the way to the end of those two lengths of This is monotonous, I'm sorry. Going as fast as I can with my arms wrapped around my camera. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> it's the best shot I can get though. <laughs> okay, halfway there. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. 
and before you slip the other end on and this is very important otherwise you won't be able to get it on to your work um, you're gonna stop a little short okay and take your take your hook out and then so this is the last um, the last stitch okay this is your 13th stitch and that's where you came out with your uh, your chain and you put on your ring so from this one you're gonna skip one and you're gonna put it right into this one so grab both sides of the the braid of the the florn there and jam this in there take that end and jam it in there the other end should have this on it this is where you started now if you don't put this through before you add your second bracelet then you won't be able to get it through so then put that bracelet on and you're just gonna slip it over that little that little loop and make sure that you do one to secure your bracelet and then the second to finish off your crochet and you just tighten it up a little bit and you're going to round that end off and take the other side and round that off too super simple and then that's in there and it pulls through it's a pulley toy Whenever you um, are trying to make the tentacles that are just the hanging pieces with the beads on them, what you're going to do is take four lengths, and I've explained what the length is, you just cut that, and the length is the entire bit from end to end, that one length, okay? And then you're gonna take those and fold them in half and cut that half. So we'll cut that. So now we have two half lengths, okay? And this is, these aren't very big, so these are half lengths, okay? And to get the beads on, you're going to want to cut this kind of like a 45 degree angle here and just leave that much there and I have a bead threader you can use your um, your needle to get these on um, but you're going to want to go down about halfway here and then put your five pony beads on and then pull those on it's easier with that working up that with the threader, um, you can do it a little faster. These threaders are actually for hair extensions. They're hair extension threaders. So what I do is I slip five of these on and then put it about here and slide those down and it's on. And then you just the ends here okay so you need that and you can cut these um, you can cut them to look like leaves and if you just cut like that they look like a leaf or you can cut them in a circle like me and then they'll be fluffy like that at this point from the tail every other stitch has some tentacles with rings on them or without rings whatever your preference so every other stitch has that slipped through not crocheted on and then these stitches are the ones we're going to work with the spare stitches that are open right now those are the ones we're going to work with so you're going to need your um your smaller your smaller hook it's i think this one's a p this is my P hook 
and then you're going to take your already beaded half lengths of your flarn. Okay, so these are these are about as long as uh, half of one of these is. So, so take that, and you're going to pull it through here. And then take your beaded ends through there. And then that'll be secured on and they won't tug out or anything like that. So I'll show you one more time. We're gonna take that hook and come in to both sides of that stitch, both sides of that, that last row. And then we'll take at the halfway point of these tentacles, grab that, pull it, and take these through that loop. Let me yank them on there. Okay. And then they'll look nice and finished off whenever they're hanging. 